and this hairstyle basically what okay Check on you behind, I'm here, and I gotta find out. Hi loves, it's Belinda, and today I want to show you how to recreate this ponytail that um, I like to call the Barbie ponytail, and that is because Barbie always has like really glamorous, voluminous hair, and I'm going to show you how you can create volume, and then also she has like a slick ponytail, and then one big curl at the bottom, and I'm going to show you a wand that does the trick when it comes to really thick hair, because sometimes it can be really hard to curl thick hair at one time, so I'm going to show you an easy way and a fast way to do it with a wand that I recently found and I love it so much because it's a really cool um, curly wand and this is where I got my inspiration from this is Barbie and her voluminous hair even though I don't have blonde hair and then she has like big voluminous uh, curls well a curl at the bottom and yeah so keep on watching and I'll show you how to do that Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair where I want the poof to go. So I'm not going to do it too far back, but you do want it back enough to where you're going to have a lot of volume towards the back. And we're going to do this in layers. So I'm going to grab a thin layer and then I'm going to go ahead and spray some of my favorite hairspray, which I will link down below where you can find it because it doesn't get flaky and that's one thing that I love about this hairspray. So you're going to want to spray the back and also the front of the hair. And then grabbing, yes I am singing, I always like to play music when I'm getting ready. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my favorite teasing comb which I found at Sally's Beauty Supplies and I'm going to slowly tease my hair. You don't have to go all crazy about it because it can be very damaging to your hair. But um, I noticed that if you do it slowly and you do small strokes that you can still accomplish really voluminous hair. So then I'm going to go ahead and grab the next layer and I like to do the layers going back only because I feel like that's where you get the most volume and it doesn't get too too messy. And as you can see I kind of tease going back a little bit more. And once it gets a little bit crazy, then you want to go ahead and comb your hair back. And I was singing the whole time, so have you seen me like open my mouth or something? It's because I'm singing. <laughs> okay, so now grabbing the next layer, and you want to make sure that you do it kind of evenly because if you don't, you'll get bumps and then your teased hair will just look like a big mess. So you that's why I'm making sure that as I'm doing the next layer, I do basically the whole top of my hair and then put a little bit more hairspray on there and we're just going to continue to do this to the rest of our hair and just tease and now as if you notice it gives you a lot of volume but I didn't tease the front this time because I don't want the front to look messy that's why I left it alone and as you can see it's giving you a lot of volume and now in the front, I'm just going to make sure that it looks nice and evenly combed, but I also want a little bit of volume here, so I'm going to just tease it without adding any hairspray so we don't, um, it doesn't, it's not too hard to comb out. So just brush it back so it looks nice and even so there's like no uneven bumps or anything and now it's time to put our poof up so what I like to do is I like to grab all of my hair that I just tease and use some bobby pins to secure it in place And then I like to leave a little hair in the front just because I think it looks really cute if you want it to look kind of a little bit messy, not too perfect. And I wanted to play the song that I was listening to for you guys. <laughs> okay, so now grab all of your hair and then put it up in a ponytail. And then once your hair is up in the ponytail, you're going to notice that the two bobby pins are going to come out. So you can go ahead and remove those now that the bump is secure. So now I'm going to show you this really cool wand that I'm going to use. Okay, so it comes with a handle and it also comes with four different sizes of barrels. And I'm going to be using the middle sized one, not the biggest one. 
And then it's really cool because you just pop it into place and then you want to make sure that it's locked. So I'm going to switch it to that it's locked so it doesn't come off. And then when the curling iron is off, it's blue. And then when you turn it on, you want to go ahead and turn it up to the temperature that you want. And it increases heat very fast. So I like how it heats up really fast. And once it's ready, the light is going to turn green. So now it's ready to use. So you're going to go ahead and grab all of your hair. And you're going to wrap it around the barrel. And I love that this barrel is one size all the way across. So it allows you to curl exactly the amount of hair that you want to be curled. So now I'm going to go ahead and curl the front as well. And once you're done with that, then you are all done with your Barbie inspired ponytail. So easy to do right. So I hope you guys thought that this was easy and you guys learned a thing or two. And I will have um, the link to that really cool curling wand in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye that I got and I love the little details in the back like the studs I think that's adorable and I've actually been able to walk in these pretty good um, once it's 